Wine TV. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another edition of the show. So let's get right into the wines. Um, yeah, let's just get right into the wines. Really nothing to talk about. <laughs> All right, um, the next wine here is another wine that was donated to me. Um, this is, uh, I've done the, uh, this brand and this label and this producer uh, a few times on the show, and I'm really excited to do this again. Um, this is the 2015 Bila Hot. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing it correct, correctly. Um, Les Vignes uh, Pays Doc Rosé. Um, suggested retail price is $15. Um, this is Michel Chapoutier. Um, as I always mention, I love to mention, the uh, it's, it's not really that noticeable i guess on it i mean you can see it but the the uh, label is in braille all of his wines uh have braille on it and i've not heard of anybody else doing that so that's pretty cool whoa hello i guess the gas was escaping and get a little rinse here to get the uh whatchamacallit the remnants of that red wine out so Bill of Hot, um, Holt, Holt, uh, was purchased by uh, Michel Chapoutier uh, in 1999. Uh, it's located, in the, this, this is their, all their verbiage. It's located in the best part of the Languedoc called the Côtes du Roussillon, or Roussillon. I don't think the L's are pronounced like Y's like in um, Spanish. It's got a little bit of a, well, I don't know if the fizz is from the... Uh, from the gas that I just pumped into it, or it actually has a little bit of fizz to it, but since I put the thing in there, I went, Shh, maybe it does. Um, did you like that? I didn't have to do any, you know, Foley work on that. Oh, all right. Um, historically, the site was, was one of the first areas planted for viticulture by the Greek mariners and has been continuously a wine region known for making top quality wines. Uh, the House of Bila, the translation of the name of the estate, was once a house of refuge for the Knights Templar. And you'll notice that there's the T um, is in the form of a cross. Um, blah, blah, blah. In the hills of the Agley Valley, a 40-plus-year-old vines are carefully and meticulously managed by an experienced team of viticulturalists. Um, where sustainable farming and low yields combine to create high, the highest quality fruit. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, it is, uh, say maybe on the next page it tells me the percentages. Yes, it is 55% Grenache, 45% Syrah. Um, yes. So let's get right into the wine. Again, donated to me. And also, a, the one of the wines I did review that the what you call it app on the phone. Well, basically, what happened is because I don't think I explained in the first episode. I bought a new app for the phone because I'm hoping that to not bring this camera uh, and all my setup. I'm hoping to bring the phone uh, to do all of my. Um, uh, traveling recording hoping to use that instead because that app allows me to do green uh, green screen well probably could allows me to do my my white balance and exposure cards um and not have to carry a larger camera and then all the other stuff associated with it all right so anyway that failed the audio and the video did not sync at all so I'm actually recording this episode 
in the last episode on the phone, the last episode, it stopped on its own like 12 minutes into it. And I started it with the phone, I mean with the watch, because that's the other reason I did it, because I had a little remote on the watch. This time I just started it from the app itself and the, the uh, watch app was showing, it shows you like almost like stop motion live. Um, let's see if, it's, see if it's still doing it. It looks like it's pretty much frozen again. So it may have stopped, you know, five minutes into the show. Because I... Oh, wait a minute. It looks like there's movement. I can't tell. Because it should update a little bit, but it's not updating at all. Yeah. So, I don't know. The, it may be recording, but the, but, the, but the watch isn't showing it. All right, let's get into the wine. All right, so... Uh, Definitely hints of strawberry, which is pretty typical of rosés. It smells like there's a fizz to it, you know? Um, almost fuzzy. Maybe like a pe- no maybes, I know. Um, but I get what seems to be like a peach fuzz on it, peach and, peach and strawberry. A little bit of floral, kind of generic floral. Nothing else really. I don't get any wood aromas or anything else, any other minerality. As per usual with most, with um, I think just about every French rosé, it is dry, it is not sweet. Um, but you do get some fruit flavors again. Pretty much the same thing I described before. Um, strawberry, a little bit of watermelon, a little bit of peach, um, but pretty pretty light on that. Um, good acid. Uh, I don't remember what the alcohol is only 13%, so right in line. And uh, you chill this a little bit. You're going to kick back and relax on the porch. I know it's 15 bucks, but it's definitely worth the $15. I mean, it's got good flavor. Um, you, you get it with the right types of food or you just drink it on its own. It's going to be phenomenal. So yeah. If you can find this at your local wine shop or, you know, grocery store or big box wine, wine place, definitely pick you up a bottle. If you're into this type of stuff, it's it's very enjoyable. And I would love to have more of this when it's hot outside. Because it's summertime and maybe it's hot. I saw something posted on Facebook. I know. Probably won't see this for another couple months. I guess in Arizona... I don't know which part of Arizona it might have said. It was like already in triple, not just triple digits, but 110 plus degrees for, for the high. I'm like, whoa. All right. So that's going to do it for this episode. Um, as always, leave comments below, uh, either on YouTube or at the website. I'll have a link to the uh, uh, Chapoutier uh, website for this wine on my website. Um you can leave five star ratings on iTunes or leave me really nice comments. Um, or you, if you're not happy with the content, you can leave me comments too there. I don't care. Um, I mean, I care, but I'm not going to tell you, you can't it's free world. You do what you want. Um, but, uh, anyway, if you would be so kind as to leave me uh, good reviews and five star ratings, that'd be awesome. And, um, I know uh, there's nothing to friend up. I mean, you can friend me up, but I'm not necessarily going to uh, be logging in to accept the friendship. So don't be, don't be offended if it takes me two months plus to go, oh yeah, confirm friend. And then uh, you can send a, uh, send me some ducats my way uh, to purchase more wines. And um, yeah, that's going to do it. We will see everyone again next time.